Good day and welcome to this edition of the Commerce News. I'm Paul Rotherham. Commerce Overseas took over the management of Handyman's Lime and Astro Quarries in July 2017. And it's time to tell you a bit more about this plant, located in Ndola, Zambia. Starting with our Health Day, held on the 30th of July. This is an important day for our team of approximately 140 people. An initiative to create team building through a day full of sport activities, laughter and fun. Handyman's has even built a pitch to host different sport events throughout the year to keep the spirit of this day going. The plant has a 600 tonne per day PFR kiln, consisting of two vertical shafts and a connecting crossover channel. Both shafts work together, and when one is calcining the stone, the other is preheating it. Our kiln operators are key for ensuring the kiln runs smoothly. We recently upgraded the operator room to improve their working conditions. They now enjoy fast access to the kiln via a new entrance and have access to toilets and showers. To produce lime, we need access to the right sized stone with the best chemical quality for the kiln. This part is handled with the help of our subcontractor, Kaleza, who employs approximately 70 people. Once the lime is produced, it requires storage, and we either put the lime into one of the four silos, or we bag the lime directly into big bags, which are stored in a warehouse. Handyman's Lime is serving both the local and the export market with quick lime at present. Based on the orders from the clients, we load big bags onto trucks for delivery, or trucks can be loaded directly from underneath the silos. To ensure the quality of the limestone and the lime, our on-site laboratory handles 70 samples daily. Lastly, we are happy to announce that another major upgrade happened this year with the completion of a new canteen, a clinic and a changing room. This allows employees to enjoy every day a nourishing meal, access to healthcare when or where needed and before returning home a chance to refresh themselves. Furthermore, Handyman's has purchased an ambulance stationed at the plant. Commerce Trading and Services Indonesia is proud to have secured a supply contract with PT Well Harvest winning after a successful tender process. This will be the second year in a row that we will be supplying this alumina refinery. The quicklime is produced by our partner PT Pentawira Agra Sakti, with whom we've been in partnership for more than 10 successful years. Once the product is ready, it is shipped via a bulk vessel to the private port of the client. One action of our 2021 sustainability agenda was to hold educational sessions on various diseases. In Ghana, Carmeur's Lyme products work together with the Ghana Health Service to educate the community of Sofokrom on malaria. During this session, information was shared on the disease and mosquito nets were distributed. Furthermore, the event was broadcasted on the community radio. In Mauritania, two awareness sessions were organised around hepatitis B and COVID-19 for the staff of Karma's Trading and Services, Mauritania. These sessions were led by two doctors who shared useful information on both diseases. In Senegal, Shaw de la Taranga organized two different campaigns. The first one is ongoing and focuses on malnutrition in children and is done in partnership with the Bandia Health Center and a network of community relays. We are happy that, thanks to our support, 55 children receive a nourishing meal. At the same time, cooking sessions are held in the communities to show parents how to prepare these nutrient-rich meals for their children. The second campaign focused on drugs, STDs and early pregnancies. To reach as many people as possible, we organised several events in partnership with the network of young peer educators of Poppengeen and the health district of the region. 
These events included a radio broadcast, an advocacy campaign in the schools of Bandia and Sindia, with 750 students attending, and an awareness caravan addressing the issues travelling around the areas of Popangin, Sindia, Guerio and Bandia. Commerce Overseas came up with the idea of having virtual coffee breaks to allow our teams to stay connected and share stories despite travel restrictions. Several groups of four people meet every Friday for a chat and the exchanges have been very rich. We started in April 2020 and the event is still ongoing today. The benefits behind the coffee breaks are simple. Team building, improved communication, generation of ideas, recharging of batteries and so on. Therefore, the e-coffee will remain a tradition for many more years to come. We would like to welcome Francois John to the team, who joined in May 2021 as commercial manager in Senegal. And that's it for this edition of the Commerce News. Be sure to keep yourself informed by joining us for another edition next time. Until then, ciao for now. Thank you.